everything looks lovely. You look gorgeous. Thank you, darling. Should we take a photo of the balloon now? Yes, absolutely. Can you pop that for me? Yeah, come over now. Okay. I think we can get a few shots before the celebrant gets here. Thank you very much. Last chance to get out of it. Oh, you can <laughs> Look at her. Is that the right angle? Yeah, that's perfect. Just hang on a minute. Hello? Yes? Is that supposed to happen? No! Help! Candace! Stay put, don't touch anything! Don't jump! Hey, let go of the rope! Oh my god! Hey, let go of the rope, mate! Let go of the rope! It's all right, don't worry, don't stress. It's all right. Don't let go of the rope, seriously. Hold on! It's all right, hey? Do not touch anything! Hold on! Oh my god! Let it go! No, guys, don't, 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 don't grab him. <laughs> Adam, you're not gonna manage. It's all right, I'll climb up, okay? It's okay, don't worry. Candace! What are you sneaking? I'm losing my grip. Oh, no. oh. Oh. Candace! Mate. Training weekend will have to wait. You got a blushing bride up in an air balloon and her injured groom on the ground. I'm clearing airspace now. Shouldn't be a big job. Wind speed's low, no gusts. She can't have gone far. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see what the drama is over there. Excuse us, let us through, please. Stand back. Come on, eh? What's your name? Adam. I'm gonna have to cut through your trousers, Adam. Huh? I'm gonna have to cut through your trousers. Yeah, it's all right. All right. Do you know what day it is, Adam? It's supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Hey, someone tied the ropes. They couldn't have come undone by themselves. That's okay. We can deal with that later. First of all, we have to get the balloon down. So which way did it go? Well, it swung around out that way 20 minutes ago, travelling at 10 knots. 20 minutes? That's 5K. Some of the guys went out after it. The best man, the bridesmaid, in a car. They're a bit tipsy. Okay, have you got their numbers? They might be able to see the balloon. Uh, that's the best man. That's the bridesmaid. We've been trying to call them. No answer. Hello? Hello? Can you pick up? Can you pick up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you hear me? There's Hello? A, there's a radio on the balloon. Yeah, I've been trying to reach it, but nothing. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? It's okay. Just, just give me the radio. Now, what's her name? Miss Campbell. Candace. Hello, Candace. My name's Dean. I'm here to help you. Candace, if you can hear me, just pick up the radio, push the button on the side, and say something. Say anything. Say hi. Got it. Let's go. Boys, we're hitting the road. Let's go. I've got to go with you. No, it. your arm is broken in this knee. I want to be there when they bring her down. The only place you're going is hospital. I'm not going anywhere, not till I see Candace. Please. Look, I can patch you up, but you need to be monitored, OK? There could be a fracture I can't see. All right, Jordan, you guys take the bush track. We'll stay with the vineyards. Keep your channel open. Over. Copy that, Dean. Over. Candace, I need your help with this. 
Candace! I just want to get down! It keeps going up and up! Candace, calm down. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Candace, listen to me. The balloon is not gonna keep going up. It is! I can feel it! Everything down there is getting smaller and smaller! There's Candace, all these ropes and, and there's a flame! That is not gonna happen. The balloon will come down all by itself. It's gonna crash! No, it's not gonna crash. It will slowly and gradually lose height and come down gently onto the ground. How do you know this stuff? Are you sure? Positive. Now nothing's gonna happen here. All you have to do is sit tight and wait. <laughs> I need to get it down fast. She can do anything. Right. Rescue one. Dean Michelle, how's the groom? Yeah, he's okay. Heidi's patching him up, but he's refusing transport. Said he's not gonna go anywhere without his bride, which is understandable. So the sooner we find her, the better. All right, any word from the party that took off in the vehicle? Didn't Laura give you the numbers? Yeah. Yeah, we've been trying them. No answer. No answer. Well, they've been on the drink, so now they can't hear their phones or they've lost them. All right, well, we'll keep trying them. Let me know the minute you have any idea where this balloon is going to come down. If it's going to be a public road, we'll have to organise the RTA, Bush, SES. I'll put them both on standby. Copy that. Rescue one out. Right. Oh, I really hope this balloon doesn't come down the highway. All those train lines or the power line. Are you expecting a fax? From head office? <laughs> you mean Chantelle? Something about sexual harassment in the workplace. Looks like PC gone mad. Hey, Bobby, how you going? Yeah, we have a small problem with an air balloon. I'll be in my office. And you see anything below you? Any bridges, any buildings, anything? Only the paddocks and, and there's, there's nothing else. All right, Candace, sit tight. We're going to get you out of this. What's your sit rep? No sign yet. Must be getting close. Yeah, roger that. Rescue one out. Weddings. Oh, speaking of weddings, what's the story with you and Hamish? Well, I noticed you uh, weren't wearing your engagement ring of late. It's off. You still seen the car? Nah. Love sucks. Yeah, maybe. What? Well, maybe we could wrap this up and get back to town and hook up. What do you think, huh? You and me? We're both free agents? Come on. <laughs> okay, we got it. We're east of use to take the next turn right. Over. Copy that. Rescue one out. Okay, we've got an MBA. Looks like the wedding party. I'll get back to you. Rescue two out. Oh, we've got some dudes here. Jason saw the balloon but forgot to look at the road. Right, Jason's the driver? <gasps> He's the best man I'm supposed to be. Right, Jason, are you alright, mate? Can't get out. I'm stuck. Oh, Has he been drinking? What? We've all been drinking? <laughs> oh, not Candy's car. Not Candy's car. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. How is he? Oh, broken nose, suspected busted ribs. Typical Candace, you know, couldn't have a normal wedding. Oh no, had to have a balloon. <laughs> Excuse me, Boris, go back. Hey guys, away from the car. Had to be a drama like the rest of our life. Okay, right, try pulling the seat back. No, go. We're gonna have to cut him out. Oh, I'll get the combi. All right, don't worry, mate. We're gonna cut the car, not you. Yeah, go for your life. Car's not mine anyway. Is is it? It rides. But uh, guess you won't be needing it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Dean, we're heading the wrong way. All right, pull over. All right, Candace, Candace, can you hear me? Not very well. All right, we're getting close, Candace. But well, we have to stay with her. Just go, go. Buckle up. Yeah, well, I don't know what you call it. A runaway balloon, and it could come down in your district. A couple of our teams are tracking it. We don't know where it's coming down, you goose. It's an air balloon. We're just notifying your guys to be on standby. Rescue base to rescue one. To rescue one, go ahead, Michelle. Yeah, we have the RTA and SES on standby. If the balloon comes down on private property, we'll need an address so that we can uh, organise for the gates to be unlocked. Yeah, gotcha. Anything else? Yeah, Dina, I'm going to call you on your mobile. What? 
Yeah, hey, what's going on? Our um, liaison at the station. Uh, yeah. Did you tell anybody? <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, no, no. Listen, Dean, if you want to file a sexual harassment report, that's up to you. But I would have kind of um, expected you to have the decency to come to me first. Um, I, uh, I, I, I didn't, and I, I would have. What's going on? I'll explain later. What was all that about? Uh, nothing. Michelle just lost some paperwork. Paperwork? What, and she thought you had it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Power lines. Dean, yeah. Okay. Hey, Mac. Yeah, look, he's just here. I'll find out, okay? How do we get the balloon to go up? Up? Oh, oh. Look, she's heading for the power lines. She's not going to make it under. We need the balloon to go up fast. Turn the burner up. You've got to turn the burner up. There's a lever. The further you turn it, the faster she's going to rise. All right, Candice, I need you to listen very, very carefully to me. I'm heading straight for the lines. I'm going to be electrocuted. Not if you do exactly as I say. Above you, there should be a, a big handle or a lever. Can you see it? Yes. All right, I need you to turn that handle as far as it'll go. And then you're going to go up. I can't go up. Not again. I hate up. What if I just jump? Candice, do not jump. Do not jump. It's a lot further than you think. I can't go up. <laughs> All right, Candice, you need to trust me. I will get you out of this. I promise. Turn the lever. Yeah, that's it, the lever. Good girl. Just turn it as far as it'll go. Nothing's happening! It's not working! <laughs> She's not gonna make it. Candace, just keep pulling on that lever and the balloon will go up. Grab the lever and twist it as far as you can. It's too late. Candice, great work. You're over. Well done. Well done. A bit dizzy. All right, Candice, we need to bring you back down. So turn the handle back the other way. I feel faint. She's hyperventilating. Just try to calm down. Take big, slow, deep breaths. She must have fainted. Let's chase it. Move. Well, look, the balloon is going up pretty fast. Could that have made her lightheaded? Not unless she's gone up over 8,000 feet. She couldn't have gone that high that fast. Hey, she shouldn't be up there at all. Hey, mate, somebody stuffed with that rope and it wasn't me. Adam, sit down. You are not helping uh -huh. her. Adam, you're not helping. Sit down. Right. Calm down. Look, we're assuming that she's fainted. How do we get her down now? Dean, the operator says there's nothing we can do while she's unconscious. The biggest day of your life. You plan it for years. Bet you never expected this. Rescue base to rescue one. Rescue two is still delayed. Keep tracking that air balloon. Keep us informed of its position. Over. Yeah, roger that. Candace, can you hear me? Please say something if you can hear me. Why couldn't she have gotten married in a shark tank like normal people? <laughs> Can't they just shoot that thing down? That would be a no. Why not? Just like pricking a balloon at a party, isn't it? The air comes out, it fizzes around the room, and then it comes down. <laughs> you want the bride to fizz around the Hunter Valley? Is that what would happen? Actually, no. You see, they have these small holes all over them anyway. A bullet hole wouldn't be big enough. You'd have to shoot a hole the size of a Honda Civic to get enough air out. Is that completely out of the question? Well, that balloon's not coming down. Not until the air inside it cools down. <sighs> when will that be? Well, the problem is where. The higher the balloon goes, the further it travels. She could be 50 k's before it comes down. Ah, oh, great. Michelle, you got a moment? We're just going through one last bit, then we'll pull you out of there. Is this going to hurt her? Not very good with pain. Add that to the very long list of things Jason's and good at. What are you talking about? You know. Um, you might feel a bit of pressure, but it shouldn't hurt. Shame. Do feel 
feel free to poke him with those medley things. Teach him a lesson. Misunderstood it. It's a burden. Right, I'm just going to chuck this blanket over you in case there's any glass. Okay. If you guys can stand back. Up you come. Okay, you ready, mate? Ready as I'll ever be. On three. Yep. One, two, three. You got my memo? Uh, yeah. Are all the squads going to this seminar? No. Just yours. Yeah, I thought as a manager you might find it helpful to nip any indiscretions in the bud before someone is, um, oh, I don't know, shagging on the manager's desk, for example. You got something to say, Chantel? Spit it out. All right. I wasn't sure if this was a joke, but I didn't find it particularly funny. Watch it. Then we'll talk. Station manager. <clears throat> ah, yes, it is true, but our people expect to bring Miss Campbell and the balloon home safely within the hour. I came over the hill and there was the balloon, right there. I mean, you surely can't expect me to keep a grip on the wheel in those circumstances. Sheer bad luck. You better come to the station with us, sir. You want to grab that? Take me with you. Oh, that wouldn't be a good idea. There's no way you're leaving me here with Jason the idiot and his gang of wedding homes. We can't. All right, hang on. Sorry. Uh, Dean, yeah, what's up? Where are you guys? Uh, we're just packing up. We'll be away in five. Yeah, well, hurry up. We need to make sure everyone's in position by the time this balloon comes down. Righto. Okay. Please, she's my best friend and she's in trouble. Please. Uh, get in. Thank you. Dean, the balloon's changing direction. Dean, the balloon's on the move. Let's go. Here. Is there anyone who can swing by and pick me up? Uh, I went too far away. Sorry, Hardy. I'll have to sit this one out. Righto. Stop, Adam. Where do you think you're going? You can't drive. I'm going to be there when they bring her down. It's the last thing I do. You take that wheel, it may very well be. It's a manual, Adam. It's your left leg. It's a Rex, Adam. You throw that clutch around, it's going to throw a clot. It goes to your heart and you're going to be dead. Are you listening to me? I'm fine. You drive. Well, they didn't need me there, and it is a Rex. Jordan, I'm in Adam's car. What's your position? Okay, we're at 234604 South, 151 15 21 East, moving towards the mountains. Voicemail. Oh, Candace, call me. It's going to be okay, okay? Oh, bet you guys get this kind of thing all the time? Um, not really, no. Serious? Weddings are nuts. This is my third one this month. You married? Nah, you're single, aren't you, mate? Uh, yeah, we're both single. Baby corners like she's on rails. Pretty woman. Yeah, it's my favourite film. It'll go easy, eh? It's not mine anymore. I sold it. It's practically new. Yeah, I've got to pay for the wedding somehow. <sighs> Stop here, we'll just get up there. All right, she's been unconscious for half an hour. Whoever's closest to it when the balloon comes down, we'll need to get oxygen to fill it straight away. Jordan, you'll also need an oxygen monitor, spine boards, heart monitor, collars, and an IV. Got it. Michelle? The balloon's coming down now. 
We'll report on the condition as soon as we know. Hello? 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 She's awake. Candace, you all right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Hey, hey, hey. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have let it go. I, I couldn't go through with the wedding. Hey, Candace. Uh, Listen, it's okay, all right? We'll sort it out once you're down. I think it's going up again. No. No, it's not. You're fine. Something's wrong. What's that? Wow. Well, is that flame? Gas bottle could have ruptured. Candace? Candace, can you hear me? Wake up. Wake up. Rescue base or rescue one, what's the SID rep? Went up in flames, we don't know what happened. The balloons come down in a dam. We're sending Chase and Jordan in now. How did this happen? Something else is going on here just before the balloon exploded. She told us she was the one who let it go. She was the one that let it go? It sounded like she didn't want to go through with the wedding. So what, she, she set fire to the balloon as well? We won't know anything till we get the basket up. Let us know the minute you do. Secure everything. I'll get onto the crime scene and police divers right away. Over. Roger, rescue one out. It wasn't meant to end like this. Anything? Nothing so far, Dean. We'll keep looking. Shall we tell him what Candace said? Not that she let it go. No, that she was backing out of the wedding. We can't be sure that's what she meant. While we're at it, what's with the secret call? What do you mean? You know, Michelle. Something I need to know? No. What's up? Chase, I've lost Chase! What do you mean you lost Chase? I don't know, I lost him! Oh, I've got the tank, something's not right. Buddy, get 100% oxygen ready. Pulse oxy. Send oxygen ready. All right. Inside. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oxygen. Take it easy. What happened? Chase, right. hey, Chase, hey, can you hear me? What happened? No. I filled the tanks. But it's not all breathing air, is it? Are you sure I didn't fill them while someone was running a vehicle or testing a generator? Are you serious? Of course not. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do about it now, but no one's going back in. Yeah, this could be contaminated as well. Good breath, Chase. Heidi, get on the phone to the police divers. Candace is still down there. She's not alive. Take it easy, mate. Rest up. Mate, 
Mate, I just spoke to police divers. They're 20 minutes away. How's Chase doing? Over? Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Listen, Vince, you want to check the running sheets, find out what was going on while Jordan was filling the tanks? I'll look into it, over. Why, is there a problem? Well, yeah. We can't risk going back in until we check the other tanks. I'll check out the stores. Copy that, out. You alright? This is my fault. No, no, no. It's no one's fault. Yes, it is. I think she might have let the balloon go because of something like that. I spoke to her this morning when she was in the balloon because I found out she'd slept with Jason. Jason? The best man. And what did you say to her? Well, I told her that she had to tell Adam, that she had to get in quick. He'd find out before she married him. And what was she going to do? Well, she said she couldn't. She said that she... She was having second thoughts about the wedding and I told her to suck it up. I told her that she wanted a big wedding and she got it. And that she couldn't do this to Anna. If I hadn't been such a bit. It's okay. No. Shh. It's not your fault. Can't be. I programmed that in. What is it? It's Candace. Rescue one to rescue base. We have re-established contact. The bride is alive. Rescue base to rescue one. What's the sit rep? Over. She's alive. She's not in the lake. Dean's trying to get a position now. Candace, it's Dean. What can you see? All I can see is trees and hills. Well, are you hurt? I'm not sure. The bars in the trees and I fell out and I landed apart on the ground somewhere. Right, Candace, don't move a muscle. We're going to come and get you, okay? Candace. Candace. We've lost contact. Rescue one to all units. Did anyone have a clear line of sight on the balloon all the way from the time it caught fire into the lake? Rescue two. No, there were trees on the way. Okay, we last saw the balloon somewhere over there. Which means... Okay, the last sighting was 32, 45, 34 south, uh, 151, 15, 09 east. Right, that's position one. Position two is the lake. It's got to be somewhere on that line. That's about three k's rough country. Jordan, take rescue two, head to position two and drive back along that line. We'll be at position one in five minutes. We'll head towards you. Rescue one out. Still no phone contact? I've got the local Lambos on standby. Hospital trauma team briefed and waiting. Look, I, um, I checked the rosters. All tanks were filled two nights ago by Jordan. So, no idea what went wrong? Not till we check what was inside them instead. I'll, uh, get onto it now. Um, Vince, um, something happened in here. A, um, discussion, and, um, somehow it was videoed. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Chantel has got something on me. And, uh, you're not, uh... You're my boss. I wouldn't do that to you. No matter what Chantel and I are doing after hours. Sorry, yeah, it's... What was the angle? With the camera. Hmm. There's something around there. What would still be here? What? Oh, Vince, this is crazy. I'm just gonna stick a camera in that other thing. Someone has. Jason, my man! Jason, what? Don't let me out of bail. Woo! Do uh, you want a drink? Uh, no, man, we're still working. Adam, Greta, what a wedding. Oh. <laughs> Those police are hilarious, man. All finger wagging, tut tutty. At least he's pesky bride. Yeah, where is she? Yeah, is the wedding still on? Uh, she's still missing, guys. Ah, of course she is. That's our candy. Full of surprises. Mate, I'm sorry. <laughs> Carried away. Moment of madness. Jason! Shut up. I thought Candace... She didn't, you know, tell you about last night. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> it's all your fault. Doesn't change anything. Oh, it changes everything. Laura, get out of here. Adam! How are we supposed to get in? Well, we need the patrol, so we'll take the blue gas truck. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we're going after him. We've got the balloon operator's car over. Okay, Heidi, 
Find him as fast as you can, then join us. Rescue one out. That just proves my point. What point is that? There's no money in keeping secrets. They always come out and in the worst possible way. And the longer you keep them, the worse they get. Especially when you're talking about sex. Sex secrets are the worst. Right, what if it's a, a one-night stand? No big deal, it's huh? It's always a big deal. And you think telling is going to make it better, do you? Always. Here we go. People do crazy things when they hear news like this. You don't think he's gone in? No. Come on. Adam! Adam! If I ever get married, I reckon Jordan will be my best man. Jordan, not Dean. Nah, Dean would be like Jason. He'd get pissed at my bucks night, probably lose the rings, and I reckon he'd do my fiance. <laughs> yeah. I called in our favourite police officer to have a look. Oh, terrific. Internet protocol camera. It's the future. So that thing's been recording how many hours? <laughs> you don't get it. This baby's been streaming live footage to someone's internet address 24-7 since it was put in. Who would do something like this? Well, usually used by undercover or private detectives, but you can buy them on the net. Any 14-year-old with a PlayStation could probably figure it out. What did they get? Oh, just a meeting that I wish hadn't been heard. We, uh, still on for tonight? Sure. That's me out of here. Red or white? You choose. Red, then. She's got to be somewhere between those mountains and here. Rescue base to rescue one. Rescue one. That bottle Chase used, could it have been sabotaged? Sabotaged? Vince checked the tanks downstairs. Half of them have been contaminated with carbon dioxide. That is not an accident. Somebody is deliberately filling the tanks with something else. Can you check Chase's tank for us, please? Uh, Michelle, we're a bit busy now. Listen, the tank's in the back. Can we check later? Whoa, 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 whoa. Brakes are gone. Lara? Dean? Larry, are you there? Dean! We're gonna crash! Brace, 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 brace! You okay? I don't know, uh, Bryce, I think, uh... Sorry. We, we, we should find out. Yeah. Uh. Brake fluid's gone. All of it. It's drained. Vince, that can't happen. It's a split system. It can't leak on both sides. Someone must have got into the truck while it was still here. Drilled a small hole, slow leak. Yeah, but why? We think somebody's targeting rescue. Well, you think it's all connected? The tanks, the truck? Well, it's a bit of a coincidence if it's not. Listen, uh, Michelle, do you think all this, uh, all this sabotage stuff, do you think it's connected with you know, what you were talking about earlier on? I don't know, Dean. Um, there's a DVD. Let's hope it doesn't get posted on YouTube. Let's just find this broad. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm going to talk to you about Michelle. We had sex in her office. Look, it's no big deal. It was just, you know, I mean, before you were talking about secrets and you were saying that, you know. Sure. We should find this bride, right? Yeah, that went well. Rescue two to rescue one. I think I'm close. The balloons come low. Jordan, where are you? I'm at 32, 45, 14 south, 151, 14, 53 east. Over. Yeah, copy that. Run away, rescue one out. It's uh, getting a bit rough up here. I'm gonna have to tackle the ridge by foot. Over. Yeah. 
I'll talk to him. Hey. It's supposed to be the start of our life together. It's all a joke. Adam. She let it go, didn't she? The balloon? Please. One of my bloody friends can tell me the truth. She wanted the balloon. The mega wedding. I just want to spend my life with her. How stupid does that make me? So what are you going to do? The start is... Sit here and finish this. Jordan was right. There's a piece of the balloon. Dean, is that you up on the ridge? Yeah, Lara and I are rounding. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, here she is. Candace? Candace. All right, stay still, stay still. That's it. You're Dean. Jordan, yeah, spine board, part of a collars and an IV. Come in, Vince. Go ahead, Jordan. We need the icy bus now. I'm at 32, 45, 40. Did you promise you'd bring me down? Yeah, well, it wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Where's Adam? How do you, Dean? We found Candace. You have. Well, that's great. Thanks, Dean. They found her. She's fine. I mean, she's injured from the fall, but she's going to be fine. Well, come on, let's go. What am I supposed to say to her? All right, you've got multiple fractures. Ribs, wrist, both your ankles. The tree broke your fall, but you still hit the ground pretty hard. Can I still get married? Not today. Amos is on the way. We're going to get you to hospital, check you out, and set these fractures properly, okay? I thought you didn't want to get married. Moment of madness. Let that balloon go. It's more than a moment. Adam. Hey. I thought you were dead. I'm sorry about everything. Me too. But, but we can get through this. We can come back and we can do it properly. No. We can't. I was always here. Like, you decided on dresses and weddings and vineyard. I slept with my best man. He took off in a balloon. I was rock solid. You never were. I love you, Candice, but I can't marry someone who's so unsure. Enjoy ourselves? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he's going to be OK? Oh, yeah, he'll come around. I mean, Candace always gets what she wants. <laughs> That's exactly...
exist, all in all. Apart from the fact that somebody's trying to kill us. It's not just the truck and the tanks, is it? I'm not stupid. The memo from Chantel, the camera. Well, I don't need to know what's on this thing, but I do need to know what's happening. Whoever is targeting us is uh, pretty serious and they have been watching us for at least a month. Why? I don't know. But Chase was nearly killed and Lara and Dean were nearly killed today. This is not just a series of pranks. We've got ourselves a serious problem. Look, there's no way that was an accident? No, no way. There's two little holes drilled in the brake lines. Check it out. So who would be targeting rescue? Aren't we the good guys? What am I, the Oracle? What's going on? I always thought Hamish was the problem. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it's me. I'm just like that bride, right? I'm flitting around and I'm changing my mind and... Hamish is like the groom. He's... Rock solid. That's what I want. If you have me. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs>